why does the spirit of Antichrist want you to believe it not has come? Now, this is crazy. Why? I didn't even get that. Is that right? Nope. There he is. Why does the spirit of Antichrist want you to believe it has not come? It would make sense that if you can be fooled into thinking Antichrist is not here, you will not be fighting against it until it announces itself. Jews will not be announcing themselves as the Antichrist in a temple in the future. Antichrist is here now. I will be proving this out with the scriptures, so please read to the end. The world has already welcomed the Antichrist in by letting it create a nation on earth again after God himself destroyed the Antichrist nation. The teaching that the Antichrist has not come yet and will come in the future is a dispensational Zionist Christian religion created by the Jews to deceive Christians. There were many Antichrist Jews that had their hand in killing Jesus, and they received their deadly wound in 70 AD when the physical temple was destroyed, and they haven't existed again until 1948 when the fake Israel was recreated and they started teaching the Christians the physical Jewish temple has to be rebuilt in the land they occupy before the Antichrist can stand in it and announce itself. But that's not Christianity. The Christian New Testament says that the holy temple is now in your body, like it says in 1 Corinthians 6.19. What? You don't know that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you? Which you have of God? And you are not your own? For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is gods. Millions of Christians have been taught that the Jews are of God. Even though they are without faith in Christ. There is no place in the New Testament that says you are a chosen people of God if you don't believe in his son, Jesus. Zionist Christians say you should bless the Jews as the chosen people of God. So what we've got here is Christians that say they are believers in the words of Jesus, standing in the temple of God, their body, announcing Jews that do not believe in God's Son, Jesus, are of God. They will tell you to bless Jews when Jesus himself said that the unbelieving Jews had for their father the devil. And Jesus' apostle John said they are an antichrist. That's when you become an abomination to God in your temple of God because you are going directly against Jesus. Here are the Holy Scriptures that prove this. 
when Jesus and his apostles of Jesus were referring to Jews that did not want to believe in him and wanted him killed, Jesus said, John 8.44, You are of your father the devil. The lust of your father you will do. And in 2 John 1, 7, For many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. John is talking about the Jews who Jesus was saying were of the devil. Most are deceived and refuse to believe these scriptures. Having the lack of knowledge of what is actually being said is what destroys many into going directly against God, the Father's holy scriptures. It's so clear. 1 John 2.23 Whoever denies the Son, the same has not the Father. But he that acknowledges the Son has the Father also. If the Jews had God as their Father, why would Jesus say they had the devil for their Father? The Jews were the first to ever not believe in the Messiah that God the Father himself sent. The unbelieving Jews are the mother of all antichrists. They were the first ever to want him dead. There is This is not hard to figure out, folks. Who it was that did not confess that Jesus was the Christ even back then? It was the Jews. In 1 John 4, 2, hereby you know the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Jews do not confess the Messiah, the Christ, as being Jesus when he was in the flesh. And Jews today do not confess the Messiah, the Christ, as being Jesus. They are not of God. The only reason Jesus said the following to the Jews is because they did not believe he was the Christ. John 8, 44. You are of your father the devil. The lust of your father you will do. They are of the devil. So they cannot be the chosen people of God. 1 John 4, 3. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of Antichrist. Where of you have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. So, it was already in the world when Jesus was standing on the planet. Are you starting to understand who the Antichrist is yet? So why is it Zionist Christians don't believe the Bible and say the Jews are the chosen people of God because of their genes rather than faith in Jesus? The Jews of today have the very same beliefs of the Jews uh, uh, Jesus was talking to in, the, in his day. Non-believing Jews of today still fit the description perfectly of the Antichrist. Read it for yourself in 1 John 4.3. It says, even now the Antichrist already is. Which means this Antichrist that was against Jesus was already in existence back during the time the Jews were trying to kill Jesus. It also says in the same verse, whereof you have heard that it should come. The should come part 
means that they won't exist as a nation for some time because of this deadly wound in 70 AD when the physical temple was destroyed and they haven't existed for nearly 2,000 years. But wait, they are again in the year 1948. They became a nation again. And because of their, and because they're back with the same spirit of Antichrist, they are at it again, deceiving the Zionist Christians of today into protecting the Jews. They have been deceived into believing that Rome is the Antichrist. But Jesus was not telling all these things to Rome. When Jesus was confronted with the Roman leaders, he didn't even say anything. It was the top Jews of Judea he was referring to the whole time. The Romans were not chasing down Jesus to kill him. It was the Jews that were chasing Jesus and his apostles down to seize him. And once they were able to seize Jesus, the Jews ordered the Romans against their will to kill him. Here are the, some of the verses that show you, if you read them, that uh, a pilot was not wanting to kill Jesus. He tried everything he could to get out of it until they blackmailed him. And read it for yourself. But thank you for listening. The Antichrist is here. Pay attention to what's going on out there.